A morning in August, 2014. This is a morning there cannot be war. The sky is lemon bright and turquoise at the edges. The car smooth past me as if out on a Sunday drive. No sarcastic bumper stickers like the one that read, I'm not against this war, I'm against the next one. My breath moves slowly as though filling an emptying grace. And it is cool for an August day, like a spring day, like the wetness of crocus and frost. My childhood for Scythia, drops of butter against the snowdrifts. During that lull between Korea and Vietnam, before TV, only my mother singing if her day had been unsad. It feels as though I could stop this car and travel on skinny legs to the old farm store, up the highway, or to my aunts in the other direction, almost remembering the sound of wind through the August weeds in that meadow. Silence so delicious one could taste it, shaved ice with blueberry juice. There cannot be those people on the mountain or the wasteland of Syria or the wild men of Iraq we spread the seeds for. There cannot be those old white men locked in catatonia, rich for life, the goddamn poor. What is it this time? We tumbled into Easter Sunday Mass, our hats newly flowered, our patent leather Vaseline to gleaming, filling an entire pew where all our questions were answered. We knew absolutely that children could never die. The priest in his cool lime satin chasuble, pure and fatherly. At home, the dappled shade of feathery leaves, their hush sound in my brother's room where I read, my sisters asleep for their afternoon nap. Gratitude slips up from nowhere for this moment, for this lapse in reality where the world has stopped turning and we are left trembling from the shock of peace. Do no harm. Love thy brother. Stand in the moment. Wait for nothing. He who is without sin... Our common prayer answered. Thank you.